Hi guys, it's Emily from Novel Novels and I welcome to today's video. This is Bargain Hunting for Books. Now, in a second, I'm going to be doing you a series of clips of uh, some charity shops in, like, that are local to me. I'm also going to, and then at the end, I will show you 10 slash 11 books that I've bought in charity shops and compare the price with them and Amazon and tell you the savings. I'm also going to give you some sneaky peeks of what Waterstones would cost, would charge you for the same books. So, why I'm doing this video. Basically, you all know most of my books are bought from charity shops. In fact, if you look at my hauls, you'll hardly see any books that are bought full price. And I do this for a number of reasons. One, I'm a skinflint. I don't like paying loads for a book because I tend to read books because I read so many books and I don't keep a huge amount, I will only personally pay full price for a book that I know that I will be keeping on my shelves, a book that I know I'm going to love and a book that I'm desperate for. So be that part of a series, be that by a favourite author. But there are other reasons. Another big reason is that I love giving back to charity. The charities that are local to me are Thames Valley Hospice. Now you all know that when my dad was alive, before my dad died, he stayed in the Thames Valley Hospice, um, it, one that's now been changed in, in Windsor, but that was special to me. We've got Age Concern. We're all gonna get older. That's a, like, we have an Age Concern charity shop near me in Wild Ridings. That's a great charity shop. Talk about a bit more about that. You would have seen that, you'll see a clip of that shortly. We've got um, Baz Books, which is a charity shop you know I work for. I've done some clips, many a clip bits in there. That's a charity sh that works for Sebastian Action Trust, which raise raises money for children that are terminal Ill or have life-limiting diseases. I'm going to, in the summer, go and visit some of the places that, that, that the money that we're raising for them gives back to. But we also have a number of other charities. We have Oxfam that reaches out to abroad, which is, we have, local, have that in Wokingham. We've got the British Heart Foundation, which supports people with heart problems. We have a number of other charities, the shops that are near me in Wokingham. If you go, now you, I'm sure you all know that I go to Wokingham every other month with Gemma from, that was previously reading book Gem. I also go with my sister Charlie. I've been with Chris on my birthday weeks. I've taken, I've gone with a number of people. Now in that town, we have 10 charity shops. So you can imagine it's quite expensive for me but you can get some amazing bargains. Oxfam is probably the dearest out of all of the charity shops, but you'll find some amazing bargains there, which I'll, I think we've got a couple that I'll be showing you today. So these charities, these charities raise money for amazing things. And if you know you are not, if you know that you can share the love of your books to other people, I will give my books away to charities shops. I will only keep books if I'm going to reread it, and a lot of the charity shop books I especially buy, I will, I will, I will give to the charity shops. So again, it's buying from them and it's giving back to them. So it's helping them raise money for very vital charities and giving back. But another point is that I think is valuable in this day and age where money is harder, and a lot of people are we have money struggles going on at the moment. We're doing okay, but I don't have like loads of money to spend on books, and it's ways of making our book buying more cost effective and it's helping these books that we buy from them not only do they go to charity shops but they're helping our pennies and our purses so we have more money to spend on food and things like that so if you do not have a massive budget charity shops can really work for you for that and I think that's something we all need to be aware of yes we are giving back to charity but we are helping our purses because let's be honest how many of us have got like loads of money to spend on books so that's this bit here I'll show you now um, some videos, some little clips of the charity shops near me. And then in a minute, then at the end of that, you'll see me show you some books and compare the prices. I'll see you all in a minute. Bye. Hey guys, so we are in the Age Concern shop at Wild Riding Shops. There is a book here that I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get this one for 20p because it does look really, really good. So these, all the books in here are 20p. I'll show you all of those. We've got some massive classics for 20p, which is really good. Uh, over there, we've got the Jodie Picot. 
Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, so yeah, that's what I'm showing you. I'm trying to work out what I'm showing you. So my north and south are 20 feet, and look, it's up in Vanity Fair. The White Queen. Some great books here. Let's see, so see what other ones we can see down there. I mean, Fred and is not for me, but she might be for other people. Uh, so we've got some others up here. Like I said, you can find some massive, massive bargains, which is what's great. Sorry, going a bit slower. We have seen some great kids' books, which is does look fun. And we've got some JD Co. I'm I'm being a bit fussy about what I buy because obviously I've got I just went on my birthday hauls. So I'm going to be showing you in this video. I am also going to be showing you other charity shops in my local area. But we also have Wokium that has a lot. But this is this place is a massive, massive bargain because it's only 20p per book, which is not bad at all. You can literally see some massive bargains in here. Like I said, for me, the classics are the ones that I always look for. If you find a classic in here, you're, you just have to eat it up because it's so, so good. So I will show you what if there's any more I buy afterwards because I like to have a look at these. Like you can see, and we've got also got boxes of the kids selection ones which are here as well oh the christmas saurus that was quite good i love you to the moon about me i like some look at that oh and i'll get where it was when i was going no. some kids ones where's it gone have you seen oh <gasps> to she used to love ripley pig anyway that's the books i will do a clip it and show you the front of the shop in a minute bye bye so i'm just filming a clip for another charity shop Tem this is thames valley hospice which has a great books on sale most of their books are about a pound or two pounds and I just thought I'd show you a little clip. If I pick anything then I will show you that as well. I'm going to try and be good today because I've obviously been buying quite a lot of books recently. I'm still learning how to do this. But this is, I'd say, one thing that's really great about um, this place is it's in alphabetical order. So I can do this. is really helpful. Just showing down there. I always look for books that, oh, that's actually one on my Amazon wish list, so I may actually get that today. Actually, that's one on my Amazon wish list, so I've got to get that. I'll just pretend that I haven't got it when I go to buy another job. I said I wasn't going to buy any books today. I was like, no, I'm not going to be buying any, and obviously this is the danger of the life of a book tuber. But I'm only going to buy books on the Amazon wish list because I think that's the right thing to do. So obviously if I was going to get them anyway, I wanted them. So look at this. They do have amazing books in here actually. Which is always good because sometimes you can find, sometimes you can find, I think, I, I actually think even though this one's actually smaller than the one in working here, this is actually, the better, this actually has the better, this actually does tend to get the better selection. Which is really good. I'm going down through carefully. Like I said, the book I just bought is the book I'm going to buy. It's only a pound, which is really good. And um, Thames Valley Hospice is a really good charity because my um, for me it's a personal one because my dad went to stay in there when he before he died. He was staying in the Thames Valley Hospice before he died in in Wokeham. So to me, that's another reason why I'm personally connected to this one, and I don't feel bad if I buy books from here because I know. Do you know what? I think if they're helping others. This is why I'm doing this video. It's not it's to save money, it's to show you guys how you can save money, but it's also for a personal reason to support charities, which is such an incredible thing. Let me know if you see any books that you that jump out at you, but see how good this is, and I'm gonna go around. They obviously do have clothes as well, but that's not something we do on our channel. But these are the kids selection, which is really good. I'm looking because I sometimes I can find amazing barking bargains on here as well, which is helpful and I also look for books for the kids as well. I've seen kiddies ones up there and up there. But yeah this is it. This is the Tens Hospice. I'll, in the next clip it'll be of the wheelchair shop which is near me at uh, near me and that's their books are 20p as well so that's it. I'll see, see you in the next clip. Bye. So this is the um another charity shop near me called the wheelchair charity shop. I'll give you the exact name in a minute. But their charity their books are only 20p per book and you can find some bit of real bargains. There is going to be, a, in the clip that will be at the end of this video, 
I'll be showing you one of the bargains I found in here, which was for a hardback new release. It was about a pound or so. I think, I think it was 50, no, it's 50p because it was hardback. But the 50p for the book that I found was amazing. You can really, sometimes you can find some amazing. This is the shop mobility shop. There you go, that's what it is. And I'll do this. Like I said, they've got some great books. There's nothing I've seen yet that I like. I'm going to be really careful because I'm trying to try not to break anything. They've got breakables as well, which is always dangerous if you on me. But at least they have a lots of charities. Look, they've got lots and lots and lots of books here, which is always helpful. And they've got their hardbacks here. I think hardbacks are a little bit more money, but I can't remember them. But there's nothing there that I've seen, but. Let's all look on the three shelf on the three little rows here. If you can see anything. And there you go. Anything I can do to promote all the charities, although it's not that important to me. I used to come in it all the time, but now I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to get you some. They've got loads, loads of new charts, but. Swing. You know me and my Heidi Swain. Right, so I think there's anything else I want to show you. But like I said, this gives you some idea of another charity shop. And like I said, these are 20 pit, these are 25 pit actually, so I've got, I've, I love my come happy. I've got that one at home, that's one of the ones I've got at home. But I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good in here. But let's just have a look actually. Sometimes you can see some sneaky ones. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to be good. I'm not going to get the crusty bear down. I'll be good. No, that, that one's a really good one. Maybe I'm going to get told off for not getting that, but I might hide that. Anyway, I'll see you all at the end of this video, which will be where I'll show you the books. So. Before I start work in the first book, I'm going to do a big clip. This will probably be one of my longer clips will be of this. And this is the window display at Buzz Books because it's obviously a charity shop that's solely dedicated to books. They have amazing paperbacks in their window. And we come down to some hardbacks. The hardbacks are two pounds and the paperbacks are one pound. And you do have some sale books that are on sale, which I always get for all my goodness. That Finding Black Beauty is one that I keep trying not to buy, but they also have food cookbooks, which are amazing. Some other ones there, that many junks one is, it keeps biting me and I'm going to try not to buy it. I'm going to try not to buy that one. Um, and they've got another one. You can see how amazing this is. This charity shop is absolutely incredible. It's all I work at and I'm so proud of myself that I actually work there. So I will see you all inside and that'll be the last clip. The last clip will be when I do, actually do the actual tour. Okay and then obviously I'll do my wrap up and sort of show you books that I've bought in the charity shops to show you the bargain. We are in my favourite charity shop Baz Books which is where I work one day a week for a few in the morning. All the books in here are a pound for payback and two pound for hardback and you have amazing ones just to go down and show you. You have the stale books that are in separate bags and I don't think the boss will let me show you those because but they are at sale, but it's only 20p. We've got some Tracy Chevalier. We've got some amazing books. We have all the authors. But the fact that it's in alphabetical order is very helpful. I'm going up here. So you've got the authors really got quite, quite big piles of them up there. So you've got like a pile of Jodie Picot. And these are regularly changed, so you regularly get different authors in. There are some books that obviously I see on here and I go, oh, that's been there. We've had that before. And and I'll show you there is a book that while Paris slept is a book that is full price in Waterstones at the moment for about seven or eight pounds. Here it's only a pound. How good is that? So you can get some new releases which are fan absolutely fantastic. I've got to be good when it comes to new releases. I do not buy them because I want other people to buy them. And I, you know that's being fair. We've got some authors down here. A lot of wartime books as well, so you have all the different genres that are mixed in and thrillers. And these are the, just the general fiction books here. I'm just gonna show you down here. So, again, the piles they've got amazing little Lucinda Riley books, which I'm trying not to buy any more of because I love Lucinda Riley. And we've got to go up here. I'm trying not to make these videos, these clips too long because I know I've got to put everything else together in a bit. 
look, the family and the familiars are two of my favourite books ever. You see that? They're two of my favourite books in the world. And we're going to do this up here. Make sure that I'm going to, so, oh, so I'm going to, these are the YA books here. So we've got YA books here, here. I'm going to have to stop this clip short in a minute because people are coming in. This is the YA section. There is some incredible YA books here. I'm only on being good and showing you those. There you go. And down there, so that's all the YA. Go around here so I don't get told off. And look, there's Mothers and Daughters, which is a new release as well. A newest release last year, and that's only a pound. Diana Jeffries is a good historical fiction author. I think where was that? There was another one I saw, which I might show you. I won't get it. And it's Emma Donoghue. There's an Emma Donoghue book around the corner that I didn't, that I saw, and I didn't get it. Marion Keys is another popular author. She's got loads of hers, and I've only read one, and I loved it. So I'm going to buy some more gradually. So, look at all of these. It's getting busy in here, so which is always good because we like it when it's busy. I'm going to see. I might, if I get any today, then I might give you a sneaky peek and show you at the end if I get any. But I'm going to try and be good. I might get a sale when I see in here. I really love. Where's that? Well, that looks quite good. And let's have a look. And there is a book actually that I can show you in a minute that's really good and it's still life. They've got still life. It's Sophie Kinsella. Look at that big pile of that. She's a fan again. It's helpful because it's in alphabetical order. We also do have some different diverse books. That looks that book there that's really good. Oh, I'm going to... Why do I always pick the worst times to do things? And then we've got a trolley, which I won't show you too much of the trolley, but there is trolley books, which is like big popular authors. Like I said, Lucinda Riley here, which is amazing, and Erica James, which Erica just I'll get my finger in. Erica James and Lucinda Riley, two of my favourite authors. Let's to see where is the Lucinda. Look at that. So you've got great W's. Alison Weir is one of my favourite authors. And there you go, Still Life by Sarah Women, which is one of the most popular books. It was on the Women's Prize last year. That's popular. We have bags of charity shop. We have children's section. I'm not going to go too much because I've done a clip of that before. So actually, so there you go. And we've got a, a, there. So, and that's it. Okay, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye. Uh, so, the next clip I'll do will be oh, they also do sell puzzles, which is really good. Puzzles here. And bookmarks, which I will definitely be getting, and extra little bits, which I need to look at. Made part, part. Didn't know about any of those. And then cook kids' books, and then other piles over here that look really good, and children's books over here. But yes, I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll show you, talk about the charity shop in the next clip, and just this video. Bye bye. So, I hope you enjoyed those clips. This was the book that I found in the ch first charity shop, Age Concern, and I looked it up. Guess how much this costs at Waterstones? It costs £8.99 at Waterstones and I got it for 20p at the Age Concern charity shop. How good is that? Now this book is not part of the 10 that I'm going to compare. So I'm now, but I've got 10 books now. I'm going to be telling you the Amazon price first and then the charity shop price. And some of them I've got some clips. At the end of this video, I will be showing, telling you the total money of how much you've saved by buying at charity shops, how much I saved at, by buying at the charity shops in comparison to Amazon prices. I've not done a total of the Waterstones prices because I've not got enough time to look up the Waterstones prices of all of them. But I think Amazon's a kind of good place where people go if they're buying a lot of books. So I hope that's helpful. Let me know in the comments down below, would you like me to do more videos like this where I can show you the price, how much you're saving? Would you like me to do them in other places such as Waterstones, independent bookshops? What kind of videos would you like me to make more of these kind of charity shop comparison videos? I would love to know, so please let me know in the comments down below. So let me get on to it, otherwise this video is going to be, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I've got 10 books to show you and let's see how much money I've saved. So the first is a book that you would have seen in the clips I bought from Thames Valley Hospice. This was a pound in Thames Valley Hospice. It's a new release. That, I would, that was on my Amazon wish list. It's The Queen's Lady by Joanne Hickson. Joanne Hickson, it's the second in the series. It's 
It's a Tudor book. It's one I was desperate to buy, so it's going straight on my shelves as soon as I filmed this. And this is about Raven-haired Gilbert. I do not Joan Gilbert. I don't want to go into too much detail because, like I said, this is going to be long. This book on Amazon would cost you £5.50. I paid a pound. That's really good value for money. Now, the next one is a book that I bought in a charity shop. And I think it was the British Heart Foundation in Wokingham. This was a pound in British Heart Foundation. On Waterstones, it would cost you eight ninety nine. In Amazon, it would have cost you £6.62. So that is a massive, massive saving. I saw this on the wall. It's funny, I bought this at British Heart Foundation. Then we went into Waterstones in Wokingham and saw it full price. And I couldn't believe how much money I've saved. And this is set. This is a book sort of set at the Titanic. Cecilia Imbri is actually a actress, I believe. So I can't wait. I don't know where I'm going to put this on the shelf. And yes, Alice, it's a pink book. We've got a bit of a joke with that. Then a book that I bought last year and one that I was really excited about. This is The Great Circle by Maggie Shipstead. Now, I saw this in Baz Books last year and I paid full £2 because it's hardback. But to pay, two, to, pay to buy this in Amazon in hardback is £15.59 and I only paid £2. So that is a massive, massive saving. And really, you can now get it in paperback. But even in paperback, that's a lot. That's more expensive than two pounds. So that was a massively big find that I was really excited about. We all know Great Circle was very close on the women's prize last year. It should have won, in my opinion. It's a great book, and I found it for two pounds in hardback, and it is a stunning, stunning edition. Look at that! How gorgeous is that? So the next one is a charity is a book that I found in one of the charity shops in Crowthorn, which is near me. And I believe I paid about a pound for this. And I think it was in British in the Thames Valley Hospice. This is Ariadne, Ariadne, Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. It's a Greek mythology book. I paid a pound. In Amazon, well, Amazon this is five pounds. If you were to buy it at Waterstones, it's eight ninety nine. So that is a minimum of four pounds saving alone on that book. And again, look at this stunning edition. I showed um, Danny from Danny's Book World this last year. And she was shocked how amazing edition is so that's another one then a book i found in this was bought in the oxfam in wokingham last year when i was out shopping with Gemma. i paid one pound 99 for this in oxfam oxfam books are more expensive but in the in this sort of shops in the supermarkets it's at least five pounds and on amazon it's eight pounds 27 so imagine the savings i saved, saved on this i think at the time of this was out though the impulse purchase by Veronica Henry was about five pounds on Amazon, but again, you still saved quite a lot of money. Da, da, da. A book I found in the Age Concern shop um, in sort of winter time. Twenty p I paid for Beach House Summer by Sarah Morgan, which was her new summer release that came out last year. It is twenty. It was twenty p in my in the charity shop. Amazon, it's five pound fifty, and a lot of the charity and a lot of the supermarkets is five pounds. So this is a beach house summer. I bought it in the winter to prepare for the summer. I love doing that. I love getting, working a season ahead. So I've got books for the summer. And this is a new release. It was her new release last year. So it's kind of kind of newish. And I can't wait to get to it this summer. And it's about marriage and beach house. And I, oh, it's a good old contemporary. I love my contemporaries. The next one is a book that I found in Baz Books again. I was a bit naughty because apparently my boss wasn't going to let me have it because other people should be reading it. It's a new release. It's a newish release. Last year, Beloved Girls came out. But it's by Harriet Evans. It's one of her historical fiction books. It's actually had quite good reviews. Successful Barrister. Oh, I don't want to talk about it, but it's got two timelines. Summer in eight, summer 1989. Why is that historical fiction? But I think it's got something, a bit of further history back on that. So, you, oh, it took decades of history. Why is 1989 considered historical fiction, though? But anyway, I bought that for a pound. In Amazon, it's £8.27. How good is that? Now, the next one is a Rick Riordan book. It's second in, a in the Trials of Apollo series. It's The Dark, Dark Prophecy. I paid £10 for that in the Thames Valley Hospice. And on Amazon, it's £8.27. Massive savings. I'm collecting that series, so can't wait to get to that. A bargain was this one. This is 
Wild Paris Slept by, Ro by Ruth Durant. I got it for a pound in Baz Books. It is still in Amazon. It, no, it's still in Water... It's a newish release. It's at Waterstones at the moment, but Waterstones, it's 10 99 apparently, Wild Paris Slept. God, I got it for a pound. But in Amazon, it's seven, £7.72. That is an amazing, amazing bargain. I've seen that in quite a few charity shops, but I've also seen it in, like I said, in Waterstones and in also the supermarkets for about a fiver. So imagine the savings on that. And the last but not least, a book I bought just after Christmas in preparation, in preparation for this year's Christmas. A book that I was heard about on Cat from Bruise and Reviews channel. I wish it could be Christmas Every Day by Millie Johnson. I paid 25, no, I paid 50p for this because it was in hardback. On Amazon, it's £11.08 in hardback. But even in the paperback, it would be at least fiver. So, imagine how much money I've saved. Right. So, on Amazon, all of those books would come to £81.82. In the charity shops, I actually only spent £10.69. So I saved £71.13 by buying at charity shop. And this is showing you how good charity shops are. We get to give back to the charities. We help to help, we get to help others. We get to help our purses. But we also get to have fun and searching for what I really should have said at the start of this was I love searching in the charity shops. I love bargain hunting for books. It is the best, most fun thing I can do with my time. If I'm not reading books, I love bargain hunting for them. I love bargain hunting and I love it. I love looking for books. I love finding things that I get excited about. You all see my book hauls. You all see how excited I get by my books. And what more fun can you have? So I challenge you. If you want to go and buy books, go and do some bargain hunting. Find some towns near you. Search for the charities help others and have so much fun. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, not subscribe yet, bring on my ding a ding and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.